Okay then my friends, so in this lesson we're just going to quickly change the approach we take slightly when it comes to non-admin users trying to view the admin page. So currently if a user is not an admin, we just redirect them back to the index page, right? But instead what I'd like to do is show an error page telling the user they can't view the page because they're not an admin. And we can trigger that easily in middleware functions by throwing an error using a pre-made Nuxt error function called show error. So then in the admin middleware function, I want to get rid of the navigate return. So delete that first of all, and then we can throw show error and invoke that function. Now, when we throw this show error, Nuxt automatically shows the default error page for us in the browser, which comes fully baked into Nuxt, right? We can also pass in an options object as an argument to specify the status code. And for this case, when the user is logged in, but they don't have permission to view the resource, we could use a 403 code, which is the forbidden code. Another property that we can add to this is the status message property. So we can show a message then to the user on the error page using that. And we could set that to be something like, I don't know, you are not allowed to view this page. And then once we've done that, that's pretty much all we need to do. Now, when a user is not an admin and tries to view the admin page, we're going to show the default error page instead. All right, so I'm not currently logged in. So let's do that first of all, Luigi, and then anything for the password. And I'm going to log in. And by the way, I've already changed the default role when we log in back to user. So that if we try to view the admin page, we should get that error page. So let's log in. We can see the index page, but if we go to admin now, we get the default error page provided by Nuxt, but it outputs 403, which we specified, and also this message that we created as well. Now, it would be nicer if we had a better error page. Okay then, so now we're gonna make a custom error page instead. And to do that, we need to make the error.view file inside the root directory of the project. Now, once we've done that, we can flesh this page out and actually what I'm gonna do is just paste this in right now. And it's coming from the course files on GitHub because this error page isn't really middleware related and you don't really need to watch me write all of this out from scratch, but I will quickly walk you through this file now to show you what's going on. So first of all, we have this script which tells Nuxt we're accepting this error prop and that error prop gets passed into this page automatically when we throw an error from the middleware function. And on this error prop will be two properties we can use, the status code and the status message, which if you remember, we configured in the middleware function when we threw the error. So those will be the values of the two properties in the error page available to us. Next up, we make a template and we wrap the template in the default layout that is in the layout folder. Now inside the template, we check for the error prop and if we have one, we output the error status code and the status message. We also provide a link back to the homepage. Finally, we just add a few styles down here just to make it look a little bit nicer in the browser. All right then. So now we have this custom error page, Nuxt is going to show this one instead of the default one when we throw the error in the middleware. All right, so I'm going to log in again, this time as Mario, anything for the password, log in. Now when I try to go to the admin page, we should see the custom error page instead, which we do. So just this simple message right here, but it's still within our layout now, which is what I prefer. And we can go back home. Awesome, so that's how we can show those error pages directly from inside middleware functions. In the next lesson, we're gonna look at something called global middleware.